crash of the stream does make sense, but uh, whoops. Well, now we know. I learned that hard lesson so you guys don't have to. And then I had to restart the computer because turning the turning the stream software back on was not working. So, yeah. <laughs> I think we got everything set back up. Think. seems linked everything seems to be back up and running um fun stuff fun stuff now i doubt that's gonna fix anything but hey you never know last shot at firing this off and then we're gonna do some of the good old copy and pasting see what we can get with that It's still trying. It's taking a minute. Is it there? Is it is it doing it? What's happening? My greens are all flashing. It's not happy. It's all going wild. Oh, yeah, the VR is going to fire up. Gotcha. Okay, okay. Lots of things are trying to boot. I expect this to crash. I hope that it isn't, but I expect it to. Here, I'm just gonna hit the step over instead of step into. Yeah, it breaks. Right. 
All right, well, I don't know what to do now. I don't know. What, I don't know what to do to fix this, but I know what the next step is. So, uh, we. That's that's at least something. Next step is to launch this. Library. I believe that we've got to delete this VR template. Yeah, VR template delete me. All right, so we're gonna fire this one up. Um, do, 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 do. Is it launching? Is it doing it? Hey, what's up? Dustin's back. I don't think it's launching. Double click it again. Uh, what the fuck? On a different monitor? What's what's happening here? Holy shit! Holy guacamole! It's not anywhere, is it? Damn it. Whenever I made this, apparently I made it in blueprints or some shit. I don't know. This thing is not launching. The stream builds VR. <laughs> oh, God. It looks like it's completely fucked. Oh, no. <laughs> God. Anything happening in the background here? What's going on here? <laughs> oh, hey, there's something. We got a thing. Oh, no, now there's two of them. All right, in task. The performance? We're not even we're not even using above fifty percent really. Like forty six, fifty five. We're not we're not even doing anything. What the f what why? Flip flap and flooper poopy. What in the goobly gobble? What in the Jiminy Crickets? Hey, you think you updated your Gradle? All right, Gradle sounds super familiar. Is that something with web dev? Let's find out. We got nothing else happening here. All right, this sounds super familiar. I've used this, whatever this is.
The Java Virtual Machine. Ugh. Build anything. Java C++. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Um, hmm. This is for... Yeah, it's a build tool. Okay. That's all it is. Like, it, what the fuck is V is popping up over here for? Oh my god, it finally finished. Alright, um... So... I'm pretty sure... Pretty... Or... That there's supposed to be one of these already made. VR temp demo thingy. Whatever, uh... Make a new thing. Virtual reality, starter content, yeah. Um, I, I, I mean, the last one I named was VR Temp Delete Me or something like that, right? That's, that's, you can't get any more accurate than that, but it's not showing up here. All right, whatever. Yeah, like I said, we'll make a, we'll make a new thing. I guess we could browse for it, maybe. Oh, there it is. Yeah. Project was made with a different version of Unreal Engine. No, it wasn't. Opening it with the version of the editor may prevent it from opening. All right, whatever. Cancel. F fuck it. Fuck it. Whatever. Whatever. Do do you boo? All right. Um. VR. Sanity check. Spoiler alert. We fail the sanity check. All right, so virtual reality. Uh, where's the part where I tell it I want it to be C++? Is that next? They didn't even ask. Damn it. That means it's probably not. All right, so what do we do to break Twitch? Did they mess up off? I don't know what you're talking about. We didn't break Twitch. My OB my computer crashed, basically, because I updated my graphics card while streaming. I knew it would be a bad idea. I just didn't think it would be that bad. Is this thing doing anything? What the fuck? I said you broke it. You said, what did we do to break Twitch? We didn't break Twitch. And then you said, did they mess up off? Yeah, I know what you mean by we. We, we meaning me, but I mean, I didn't break Twitch. Twitch is fine. My computer broke. I, I'm just being literal. Five, uh, what the fuck is going on here? <laughs> Internal screaming. All right. So I don't think this is going to launch a C++ version. I don't think it's going to launch a C++ game. I don't think... I don't think it's launching a C++ game. I think it's doing a, a blueprint variant, which I don't want. I didn't see a spot to select it. You used to have to select it up front. I know that they changed when you, where you do it at, but uh, I don't want this to be a blueprint thing. I want this to be a C++ file because I want to copy in my C++ files into it to see if it, if it works. I guess I should have launched it in 426 or 427 or whatever, uh, in case it's a, uh, in case there's something wrong with 5.0. In scream turtling. I'm about to go mad. Well, it's about to go from internal screaming to desk flipping is what it's about to do. What the fuck is happening? Why is it taking so long? It's 
So, it's trying to compile the one project while I also try to launch the editor because I want to I want to look at the editor options. <sighs> we got anything over here in Google. Uh UE flipper flapper UE5 uh C++ project. They all didn't look like C++ project. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this this is yeah. 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 This is a lie. up with these wild ass websites dude i swear the jesus the duck that goes sucks at programming oh well, none of these are showing me what i want so i guess i just suck at googling all right, right here, we're back to this spot. Well, that's still trying to compile, which is fine. Whatever, we click on games. Where is there? No, no, what? This options weren't here. Oh, you don't get a choice on VR. All the others, you get a choice, but on VR, you get whatever the fuck you get. And you don't throw a fit. That's wild. Huh. Well, okay then. It's cool that they have an augmented reality section. DMX? Well, uh, that kind of answered my curiosity there. I'm still going to leave this up because we might make a, a new... We might make a new project anyways. Whenever the hell this gets done. This is what Dustin was waiting on. It took an eternity. All right, well, while this is taking an eternity, we're going to do something else. Um, we're going to look up game design docs. Um, uh, all right. Game design doc template. That's what we want. We want a GDD is what it's generally referred to, but I don't know if the GDD will find me uh, what I'm looking for. We'll search both. Game design doc uh, template. Oh, sweet. This seems good. Game design document template from Nucleo. Wait, so there's a few of them. What do we got over here? Um, let's open that guy up. That looks promising. Game name, company logo, license, theme setting genre, what sets the scheme apart, story, assets needed, schedule, code animation. Yeah, so this all this all seems good. Pretty close to what I want. I want to take a I want to take a look at a couple of them. Um, but that seems that seems. Yeah, so the overview, gameplay, player experience, gameplay guidelines, those are things that I think that we want. I guess we got all that here. Targeted platforms, monetization model, project scope, influences, elevator pitch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This this seems good. This seems good. All right, so uh, we'll just uh, make a copy. Hopefully this doesn't expose anything. Go. Cool. We did. Uh, we just beat the first two floors of the first zone, so we we have paused right before the boss fight. And if this project fires up and it's 
blueprints, I would totally be down to do that boss fight. Uh, I want to delete this page. How the hell do I delete this fucking page? Works. Alright, it seems like a, it seems like a good introductory. Yeah, floor two is easy peasy. It uh like getting to buy some cards and getting some abilities from the shop really made it a lot easier. But not sell his diamond. Man, this license is kind of annoying. They're kind of just all up in the all up in the face with everything. All right, here we go. So, theme setting genre. All right. Um, let's see here. Let's see here. Plus, we didn't get bombarded with a bunch of guys like we did at the start of that one of uh, floor one. Theme setting, A eh? and genre. So, gonna be uh, sci fi, uh, alien versus cyborgs. Setting uh, is gonna be futuristic, grim. All right, we'll go say dark. Dark is more. Uh, descriptive, I think, than grim. Genre, uh, asymmetric. Um, asymmetric, team based, asymmetric, objective based team game Packers defenders okay and the whole shtick here is it's just gonna be VR we're gonna have a good VR game for gameplay mechanics brief um, <clears throat> defenders slow with guns attackers fast Without guns. <laughs> I'll give you one dollar for Sword Art Online. No thanks. Um. Attacker's objective is to uh, steal. Search slash destroy. Uh. Limited respawns. All right, target platforms. Steam. That's it. We're just going for Steam. Monetization model. Brief. Premium, paid, alpha, beta, microtransactions, subscriptions. So there. This could go multiple different ways. Um, multiple different ways.
Base game. Uh, purchase base game. Four, uh, MOBA style with champions and skins. Other options are fine. You like to be trapped in a reality where it's dog eat dog. Only a few live well, and you only have one life. Can I offer you reality? Yes, please, but I don't want to move. So VR it. <laughs> Massive. All right, we're going to skip the, the project scope, I think. Um, we're going to go with uh, Splinter Cell Double Agent. Uh, influence 2 is going to be Intruders. Influence 3 is going to be uh, Alien versus Predator. And Influence 4 is... Uh, why did my music stop? That's Influence 4. Give me some fucking music! Um, <laughs> new station required. New... Oh, nothing's working. Epic. Oh, Electro Swing is a, is a station now? Oh, hell yeah, let's do that. Oh, we can't. Okay, Electro Swing's not allowed on YouTube. Fine. Back to Epic. Epic, play. There we go. Um, There is a game that I played in 2015 that is actually like heavily influencing what I'm wanting to do. Um, We gotta find that game. Mini Gaming Gibbs actually knows it. He knew it right off the top of his head. Uh, I barely described it to him, and he nailed it. Uh, and then I went and looked it up. And yeah, it had been since like 2015 since I played it. And I didn't launch the game, so it's still going to be that old. Um, VR is just working uh, out with additional nausea. Eh, most people don't really experience nausea. It's pretty rare. The, the people who do, it goes away pretty quickly. Like, I was one. I, I had nausea while, while uh, moving, but it's only whenever you're, like, walking around. If the game doesn't uh, do a walking mechanic, then you don't generally experience any nausea. Come on! Open everything back up. I hate this wiggle mechanic in fucking Windows. I wish I could disable this. I wiggled and everything closed. And when you wiggle it back, it's supposed to open everything back up. It's not doing it, though. Fucker. Come on. Ah, It's so frustrating. Everything should close. I had, like, so many windows open. Um, all right, well, um, OBS open back up. Restream chat open back up. Uh, Google open back up. Um, Steam open back up. Um, I got like five windows, or five freaking Google tabs open. Let's get all of them open. Come on. Alright. What is the name of this game? It's something sci-fi-esque. It's something with aliens. It's something... Alright, search. I wouldn't even be surprised if it's older. Um, mm, natural selection too. Pretty sure this is it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. This is it. This goes up to be second. This comes down to be last. All right, so Natural Selection 2 is pretty sweet. Um, Steam's frozen. Everything's frozen. Everything's on fire. 
All right. Um, bu -bu -bu -bu. community hub, right? That's where you get to see like everybody post screenshots and stuff. They had an update in February 3rd. Is that of this year? Oh my God. There's still people playing this game. Uh, screenshots. Okay, this might be this might I didn't think you could draw shit. All right, let's go to the let's go to the freaking uh, game. Back to this back to here. We'll go to the store or page. So this game. It's like you've got aliens versus uh, like space marines, basically. And apparently nothing wants to load. So you've got like that going on. You got aliens versus uh, space marines. And each team has one person who's actually playing an RTS. Like one person get, crawls into the command center and then they see a top down view of the map. I don't want to do that at all. But uh, so like here in the bottom left, let's make this bigger. Oh, bollocks. Oh, sweet. Now it's actually playing. So like this guy just ran into the command center and see he sees a top down view. And over here, you got the whole map laid out and he can see like what his teammates can see. Otherwise, things would be in fog of war and you can set up cameras and other traps. So you've got a lot of interactivity that's going on. And uh, here in a little bit, it's probably going to switch over to the alien side. Yeah, so the aliens, um, like they're playing from a first person perspective. And so there's a bunch of different types and both teams are trying to gather resources to like level up permanently. So like this team, the aliens are setting up some alien goo trap shit to like block the space marines that are running through. Um, and like as you get resources for your team, you unlock new stuff. So the marines are going to get new guns and like mechs and shit like that. Whereas the aliens unlock new alien types. So like there's a freaking pterodactyl flying through the air. Uh, there's a freaking rhino or whatever. And like, these are being player controlled by people who have uh, earned the points to unlock them. And I want to do something like that, like just within VR. So like you could be that bat thing flying around or you could be like one of the crawlers or a tank or something. And I think that would be super fucking fun if like you're just like running like this and you're a big ass tank and you're just fucking plow people over or something. Uh, I think that could be pretty sweet in VR. I don't know if we played this. I've only played like three hours of this. But yeah, I uh, while I was showering today, I had a fever dream. Uh, I always have like crazy good thoughts or I think they're good thoughts anyways good, good old shower thoughts but yeah while I was in there um, this this just popped into my head as like the dog uh, it, it got a yeah this thing right here uh, I forgot what it looked like exactly but I just had the idea of doing that like like the camera is just like right off the ground level and you're fucking doing this number like you're reaching forwards grabbing and pulling and so that's how you run and then if you like push down then you jump and so you can be like and this, this class would have the ability to climb on walls or whatever. And so you could like just be climbing all over the place or running across the ceilings or whatever the hell. Uh, but yeah, I was, yeah. I also think it's some pretty amazing thing when I'm in your shower. I know, I know. My shower is just magical. But yeah, I think this would be sweet. But so, uh, it would be less combat focused though, what I'm thinking of for your game. Maybe I should. Maybe I should just like lean into just redoing this or something with VR. But uh, yeah, I was thinking like that little like doggy thing would could like jump on their face and like ride them or whatever. But primarily, I don't. I think like this game's goal is to overrun your opponent, and that's not what I'm wanting to do. I don't want it to. I don't. I don't like the goal for the game. I'm thinking of making wouldn't be to push it like. That was a very like symmetrical map and your objective is to destroy the opponent's base. That's that game's goal. I want to go with the Splinter Cell double agent goal. Um, which is uh, from here, we're, we're taking the, um, uh, from this, you, you want um, to capture and return objectives, but you don't have to Get it at one point. That's, that's like the major game mechanic that I want from the Splinter Cell Double Agent thing. So in Splinter Cell Double Agent, you have spies that are coming in and hacking. 
And what you've got going on here is, uh, yeah, notice how far, like, I just had, like, a crazy, like, oh, my God, this is what I want to make uh, while I was taking a shower today. And so that, this is what we're talking about. Uh, goodbye, I spy. <laughs> no, we could probably do that along the way, though, which is kind of the, the cool thing, because, like, I spy just requires us to get movement set up. That's really all that we're trying to go for there. The hell's a rock at? I need something a little bit louder. This stuff is quiet. There it is. Uh, so that's like the major thing that I want from here. In Splinter Cell, there's four computers and the spies are coming in to, to hack it. You got like zip lines and a bunch of verticality. Uh, another uh, key thing is uh, the special movement. Uh, that, that's another key thing I want to take from that. Let's see if I can't find a a demo of that needs lots of tentacles. Just make a face hugging simulator. Um, so double agent, uh, spivey merc. This is probably going to be more of a, a YouTube search. So let's see if this shows anything the data terminal. particular that I want to show off. So at this particular point, See, it's got a little like HUD display for the map over here, and there's four different computers you can go to. And your your objective is to this is your progress bar up here in the top right. You need to fill it, and you don't have to fill at any individual one. You don't have to go to blue and get all the entire thing while you're at blue. You don't have to do that. Stop. Um, Wait, apparently, how? we're watching him die. That's kind of funny. Uh, so there's that, Am and then I it, blind? See if he does it. The movement is what I was wanting to. Like, so you get that dive, which is kind of cool. Um, he's almost dead. He's probably heading back to base right here. You can climb on particular uh, things. You can't climb on everything. This right there. That dive through the window. N the screen goes all blurry uh, right before he does it. Oh, that went really far back. Whoops. Yeah. Yeah, so the screen goes blurry because he's hit the he's hit the special button like right here. He hit the button, and so his character's locked into the animation of diving through the window at this particular point, and it does a cool front flip. I think that would be pretty sweet to do in VR, and it can also do it like backflips up onto things. Like you can run under a platform, and he'll jump up, grab it, and do a backflip onto it. Um, I think like having special movement like that is is really fun. And you'd be doing it a little bit different in like VR, right? You'd like fling your arms up and then like grab on and then like the camera would just auto play through it and there'd be like an option to disable the flippiness like because I'm sure that flipping in VR will fucking suck for a lot of people so uh, those are the two things that I want to I want to take from that natural selection 2 is just uh, alien design I think there's just some some cool ideas here potentially um I don't think there's really anything like particular to grab from it again this is just going to be alien design uh and maybe settings a uh, world environment design intruders uh this is going to be uh map design this is uh, very intricate intricate map design <laughs> um and also the uh, the fender gadgets, pretty sweet from here. So that's kind of what I want to do. Uh, something that I think would be pretty sweet is like a mix and match of abilities. So you could take a like if we're talking about the aliens. Because that's like the easiest one to envision this with. But if we think of you're, you're building your character. So you have like your head, your torso, your arms, and your legs. So we got four different things that you could choose. Uh, it may be feet as well. I don't know. So you could like choose for arms. You could have wings. So this would make it so like you can't climb stuff, but you could like soar down. Um, for feet, you could choose to have like spiky feet, which would make you really fucking loud when you run. But it also means if you jump off of something high and land on an opponent, you kill them, right? So like, I'm thinking like you could just like 
make it to where you build your own character that you take into the fight. I think that sounds pretty cool. But I think like there's just this is part. part. You know what I'm talking about now. I think. For gameplay mechanic, uh, describe two paragraphs or less how it works. Describe the two paragraphs or less. I don't understand the difference between here. What's the difference between details and how it works? So, like, if we take the the core gameplay mechanic of uh, attackers steal objectives, right? So, I was just talking about how like there's four computers, and you don't have to take the entire file from it objectives from four map locations right so like that that's like the core gameplay mechanic and it's described in like a single sentence what the hell do i need what what details and what clarification on how it works do i need another core gameplay mechanic is build your own character um details this is probably like the, uh, Hmm. These bullet points seem fucking weird. I can't decide how I want to do it. Look at that. There we go. Shift enter. Shift enter is what I was looking for. Um, Characters have slots, head, torso, arms, hands, legs, feet. Um, where you can select what type of, uh, where you can select something. <laughs> Use what uh, body part you get there. Yeah. You get there to build your own champ. Um, body parts uh, will give passives um, and abilities. If you choose uh, all of a single type, then you get an ultimate. So like if you take all shadow body parts, then you get a shadow ultimate. If you take all flying monster parts, then you get a flying monster ultimate. I don't know. These are just spitballing ideas here. While we wait for this damn thing to build. Is it done yet? Holy shit. How is it taking so long? Uh, how it works. I don't really understand what additional details you need. I feel like, I feel like that's pretty, pretty good. These... All right, uh, two teams, each of three players. That, that's the, that's the original Splinter Cell formula. Um, this formula can be mixed. Oh, three players with three lives. That's, uh, uh no, that, that's, uh, that's like an alternate win con thing the lives hmm hacking team's goal is to either steal all objectives or to eliminate the defending team defending team it goal is to eliminate 
Packers or wait out the clock. Fin until time runs out. I really think that's the entire game right there. And like the build your own character is kind of like a bonus stretch goal, right? Like this is this is just bonus. Um, this is really it. I think that movement is kind of a game a core game mechanic, actually. Um fluid parkour movement. Or just movement in general. Um VR movement is a core gameplay mechanic. So um attacking a team each alien feeling like very unique very distinct like i want you to like if you're the dog running on the ground like you want to feel like it uh or if you're the bird flying you want to feel like you're a bird flying right and then uh defending team i guess can we like yeah, yeah. and then defending team I want you to feel like a tank, like a fucking badass. Very weighted. Mm. Thing done yet? Two, one. Holy shit. Objective one. Um, this is going to be MVP, minimum viable project. product um time scale i don't know three months let's be let's be super super critical um two teams with different character models hp And limited response. I guess, uh, no, this is just uh, damage and multiplayer replication. Uh, end game condition. So, uh, capture objective, kill players. That, if we can do that, the game's fucking done, right? That, that's the game. Oh my god, we got a bot. Does doing that actually block the bot? It does. Wait. So if we can do this, this right here is the game. And then it's like all art from there, right? Two teams with different character models, uh, damage multiplayer replication, in-game conditions, such as capturing objectives and killing players. That's the game. Uh, single map. Oh shit, hold up. <laughs> um VR uh look movement. Movement's gonna be kinda difficult.
I think that's it. We have two teams. Change the order here. We can move. We can damage and replicate. We have a map. And then we have the end game conditions, such as capturing objectives and, and killing players. What else would be needed as minimum viable for this? Is there anything else? Or is that everything? Because it totally feels like three months is a doable time frame for this. Probably not at only working on it for like three hours a day. Let's change it from three months. Let's change it to... Um, Let's see here. It's uh, ETA everything. Single test map. Um, for a test map, let's we'll put that at five hours. I think this all, this all seems fairly realistic. So we're going to go uh, 30, 40, 50 hours. Uh, let's then you take all your estimates and double them. So we're going to say 100 hours, 100 dev hours. Uh, which then translates to um, a long fucking time. If we do... Uh, that's 33 streams. Okay, 33 weeks. It translates to six months if we do this only on. Yeah, that seems that seems about right. Seems about right. That's pretty, this is pretty exciting to me. This, that's kind of like amp, you know? Because it makes it feel pretty, uh, pretty realistic and obtainable. I'm worried about the movement. Uh, so this is going to be um, running by swinging arms, uh, climbing with hands, um, Jumping. And then the, the special climb thing. I saw double agent. So that's everything that goes into moving. I'm not really sure how you do this, the running by swinging arms. I have no idea how you do that. I was trying to find like some code in the Epic game store that just already did the movement entirely. And I could just like spend like 20 bucks and just buy the movement component. That would be awesome. But I did not see that. And then notice that I doubled everything because I'm pretty optimistic in my timing. And I never, I never hit my my uh, my estimates. Whenever, whenever I'm guessing on <laughs> on uh, <laughs> doing stuff. So, in fact, doubling it might not be enough. I think it's like whatever you estimate and triple. It's probably a good a good go around for me. So this is uh, not balanced for team play. Uh, looks decent. So this requires guns and requires um, melee.
Um, break neck, drop on people. So the the more I add details, the long the the scarier it seems to get. Oh my god, it's done! Oh no! I'm pretty sure... No game mode. What? Can this even launch? I can't do a VR preview. What? This was a VR template. How does it not have a VR preview? Working or not, I'm, I'm confused. That did not move at all. Dustin, are you still around? Because you, I think, just fired this up. Project file is out of date. Would you like to update it? You're barely around? What did you have to do? Or did yours not work? I imagine that I need to select a game view. Uh, or a game mode. I'll put it on VR game mode. I don't uh, now it filled this all out. All right, better. I don't know why that was blank by default, like a mistake. It's gonna work. Why are you getting a Java JDK? I thought you were trying to mess around in Unreal Engine. What are you doing now? Are you doing homework? This is not working. Oh. Oculus Quest 2 requires it in Unreal Engine 5? That doesn't make any fucking sense. That's weird. Why does the music keep stopping? It's not actually stop. If you notice every single time, as soon as I click on it, it starts playing. I'm not actually clicking play, but it, like it gets to the end and it stops working. Create your project, blueprint, no starter content, yada yada. Figure for Oculus development, plugins, virtual reality, Oculus VR plugin. Uh, save, give it a name, project, project maps, mode, here's the default. Um, I don't think you, I'm not seeing anything. I mean, I know this is for UE4 instead of UE5, but I don't think you need all that shit. That's weird. Anyways, you do you, boo. Uh, hopefully it works out for you. You want to play some Demio? Because <laughs> I don't think I'm going to make any more progress on this. This thing is not working. I don't know why the starter project doesn't work, um, but... Either we can try to try to load up that last boss fight here, or I'm gonna play some Ragnarok for the last 30 minutes. Up to you, boo. 
No, you gotta go to sleep soon? Alright, that's fine. That works out. Um... Yeah, I'm gonna go to the restroom, and then I think we're gonna play some Ragnarok. <laughs> I think that's the, that's the game plan here. Because... This isn't working. I don't feel like I don't feel like trying to figure out why in the hell um, the template doesn't work. That is, that is bullshit if you ask me. Like, it's a fucking template. Place level in VR. Like, place level in VR is grayed out. That doesn't make any sense. Um, considering it's the it's the VR thing. Like, what? I launched the VR template and the VR options disabled for some reason. I don't understand. This VR sanity check, like I, like I called, spoiler alert, I'm going to fail it. And I definitely did. So yeah, I'll be right back and because I'm going to go pee real quick. And then we'll see what's up. We'll try to, try to play some games for a little bit. All it was was I was running the wrong Java version. Well, at least it wasn't anything too difficult. All right, so let's flip it over to here. Uh, hmm. So normally, take the camera off and put it on a tripod and then do that for the VR. I'm not gonna do that. We're gonna just do it like this. And then we're gonna hope that it works. We got a couple things that we need to do. We need that first off. And then we need to close all this shit. Yeah, don't save. I don't know why that's not working. Close all this. Close that. Game asset starter content failed to save. What? I don't care. Continue on. Close it. Yeah, it's fine. Close it. What is happening? Everything's on fire. Um, weird. Weird. What in the hell? My preview on YouTube is of the natural selection thing. So, you know, like 50 minutes behind. What in the hell? The VR template just launched up a different one. Does this one actually work? I'm trying to shut things down. I'm moving on. No, it doesn't work. It still has a it still has a block. Get out of here. Don't save. Close. You're all you're all torturing me. All right. So, streaming new games, new VR games in particular never ever works. So, uh We're in for a treat together. Uploaded the APK to the headset. So weak. All 
All right, we're launching this. Uh, this needs to Says the game is running, but I do not see it. There it is. Oh no, oh, no. the camera is not in the right spot. At all. Hell yeah, dude, I'm glad it worked for you. Huh, this, this might, might not work. work. <laughs> what, what the flip flapping flooper? The game isn't running. Nothing is working tonight. Boy, I tell you what. Yeah, the game the game's a black screen for me. I was thinking maybe it wasn't working right, but no, that's that's just what I'm seeing too. Everything's on fire. Ring of fire. Hey, there it goes. Like I said, the camera's in a weird spot. It seems, it seems like, like it's not, not it's not wanting to work. To work. Oh, oh, there, there we, we go. go. Oh, what, what the, the fuck? fuck? Dude, Dude, oh my god. god. Can, Can you, you hear? Oh my god. god. Damn it. No, what the fuck? Oh, what the fuck? Oh, what the fuck? Oh, what the fuck? Oh, what the fuck? Uh, the VR headset doesn't see the game. <laughs> the VR headset is in, is in outer space. 
All right, so we close this, or we try to close this. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Close this, close that. Hit on the, click here, click that. We gotta launch live. Close this, close that. Click on things, do stuff. Man, what a difficult, difficult difficulty. All right, uh, launch the game. Or launch the chat, I mean. Cats up. Launch the game. This is really uh, sad. <laughs> I have no other way of describing it. The uh, everything in the headset is is not not good. Is not it's not the way it's supposed to be. I'm gonna quit Steam VR, I guess, and then hope for the best on relaunching it. Live still running? Wow. Huh. huh. <laughs> I don't know, man. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I yeah, have no idea. Um, it says that VR is off while also saying VR is on. Uh, yep. yep. Uh, I don't know. Nothing, nothing wants to work tonight. tonight. Alright, one more launch. CPU is at 100%. Yeah, nothing. Wow. It's on fire. Down, down, down. The fire. All right, we'll flick it over to here. We're doing stuff. We're just doing stuff in the BRB screen. This seems like a better screen to be doing stuff on. All right, everything's closed down. It's catching up. Looking promising. Sweet. Man, Man, was, was that, that frustrating? frustrating. All right, well, I can, I can see, see the, the message section up in the top. I can only hope and assume that my messages will come through there. Uh, the world, world may never know. know. But the, the important thing is, we can try, try to play, play the damn game. game. Uh, so, so, let's see here. What, what song's next, next on, on the list? list? We, we are, are on this, this song, Metfest. Come on. 
How am I missing that? I looked up at the message of said the game is cool and I missed a note. So I'm doing really bad on this one. I uh, I honestly think I'm gonna fail. I keep missing a lot of notes. Normally I miss only like five notes, and I miss probably thirty. I'll explain uh, a couple things here in a second. Once, uh, once it calms down a bit. So, the hilt of the hammer, where we got this little bit of blue, as you hit notes perfectly, it fills up. And once it fills up, then you can uh, hit these drums on the side that you can't see, or rather they're shields. And uh, it makes your people scream and they go faster. So like right now I can hit that and we go faster, but see now that the hilt's filled up, we're charging the hammer. And if you charge the hammer all the way, it's uh, double the bonus, I think, of just doing the hilt. Uh, but I missed the note right there, and it reset it all the way to zero. So if you try to fill the hammer up, then you're risking. But uh, whenever you get that charge, you hit the side, and your people go faster. When the sparks are gold, that means I did it perfect, and I got some energy. Uh, see, whenever I look down here at the drums... You can see if I hit late or on time. That balloon over there was uh, was bronze. That balloon right there is silver, so we didn't quite make it to silver. And then, yeah, when you hit these, they charge. Yeah, this game's really fun. I'm surprised I didn't fail, because I did really, really bad there. Um, in fact, we're going to try retrying that one. But I'm glad I can see the message coming in. And, and now I've played, played once, and, and now, now we've got my personal, personal best ghost over there. there. I, don't I don't know how I missed that. that. No! Oh, damn it. I was about to get the full charge. I was so close. Uh, the difficulty that we're at right now is about half as hard as the game get allows. So, it goes up to 10. I think we're on 5 or 6 right now. So, this is pretty uh, difficult, I think. It's pretty difficult for me.
So we're 200 meters ahead of where we were on the last run. So we're doing really good, comparatively. Wait, oh, oh, we got silver that time. time. And you, you can see our personal, personal best previously way back there. there. And, and now we're... Well, well we, we sort of a lot better. better. Sweet! Yeah, yeah perfect, perfect 43% combos, how many, how many of them you hit perfectly. perfectly. So, you so you've got to hit them, like, dead in the center of this drum. Like, you can hit the you can hit the side of the drum, that's fine. But you need to hit, like, the note that's coming at you. You need to line up with this little center ring. So it's, so it's a pretty, pretty small, small uh, window, window to get, uh, to get, uh, to get, to get the, the perfect. perfect. <clears throat> Let me choose, choose a couple songs, songs that I really, really like. <sighs> um, Loki is a really good one. And then there's Rock and Hawk over there, that bastard.
Oh, damn it. For some reason, I did not see those double notes coming. <laughs> No! It was about to get the, the double boost. I was on track to probably beat my best. I know it's in front of me right now, but I was about to get a huge speed boost. <sighs> yeah, I was about to get a pretty big speed boost, so that sucks. <sighs> now, we'll do one more. And see you. Here. Let's Let's go down, down quite a ways. This, this song I like a lot. I haven't tried, tried this song on the higher difficulty, so let's try this one on medium. medium. See how yeah, it goes. This, this wasn't was the song I had in mind when I said one more, more so, so there might be one more. One more. In front, front of the boat, boat got past it. I got, I got a silver. silver. Barely. Oh. <laughs> Barely. <laughs> well, like two, two meters. meters. <laughs> right, that wasn't the song I had in mind, so we gotta, gotta do, do a different, different one. one. I, don't I don't know the name of it. it. Oh, damn it. No, no grave, but see the good one. Poor two, I think. Oh, oh it's heroes. heroes. All right. All 
I should have probably set the, set the game. Ah, uh, this, this one's, one's much slower. slower. Oh, I missed that? that? Yeah, yeah, now I'm gonna be in last. last. Uh, I missed that, that again! I don't think I'm going to catch back up, but maybe. Oh, now it's for sure lost. That was no, not even a, a contest. Both notes I missed were whenever I was like two notes away from having the full max boost. Uh, uh, so, so it's, it's pretty, pretty, uh, pretty much a, a game, game over because it's all about the distance. distance. I said the better ones. <laughs> well, well, that's, that's probably, probably a wrap. Oh boy, there's a squeaker. Hey there, Debbie. Hey there, little girl. Yeah, I like it. I think it's a lot of fun. I mean, man, I took a shower before the stream. Now I gotta take another one. Oh, that just means I'm gonna have to keep playing. Gotta make it worth it. The only thing I did uh, to my game so far is change the textures, and that's compiling right now. Nice. So, did your VR template actually work? Because, did you see what happened for me when I launched the VR template? It did not work. I don't know if you saw that, but, like, it was not. Whistle? Quixel? What? Drop it. Hi there. Hi. Oh. Oh.
گیره Oh, you uploaded them to your headset. Interesting. Weird. All right. Well, let's see. Who's online? Pixel for free textures. Trying to play on my headset live isn't working. I don't know how to do that. Hmm. Well, I mean, I wouldn't expect you to be able to change the textures out while you're using it. Um. So I which is kind of what I th think you're saying, but I don't think you're saying that at the same time, so I don't quite know what you're saying. Like, I thought you were saying you used Quixel to find free textures that I assumed you downloaded, and then you put them into Unreal and changed things around that way. That's what I assume. But then you're saying you can't do that live. That's what I don't get. Got home in time for the end. Oh, well... Did you get to see any of Ragnarok? I just played Ragnarok for like 30 minutes. That was pretty sweet. We finally got it to work. I know it took me a minute to get it to work. I just had to shut it all down and relaunch it. Didn't get to see any. Well, then that means I got to play it for 30 more minutes, right? That's how that works. I have to put the APK on my headset to play it. I can't do live. Oh! Oh! -ho -ho. That kind of sucks, Dustin. That's unfortunate. I think that if I couldn't do live reload, I don't think I would. I would do it at all. <laughs> Not gonna lie. What the hell is going on with that? What? But I can't keep streaming, Alan. I can't. It is getting late. It is almost the bedtime. The time for bed. Friend told me of a couple of classes coming to Lost Ark before long, and this artist support class sounds pretty sweet. See, I'll play Lost Ark when you get Ginkgo to play Lost Ark. Then I'll play it. Yeah, because then I'll have to. I would have been bullied into it. Till then, the only MMO I'm interested in is Zenith. Although I haven't tried it out yet, so I don't know if I actually like it. Ugh. Oh, so when hell freezes over. Yeah, that, that's what I'm saying. Do you think it's out of your league? Well, I'm just, I'm just not interested in an MMO. All right. I'm pretty damn sure Mini Gaming Gibbs was over here trying to, like, get me to raid him whenever I uh, finish the stream. And by God, it worked. So let's go hang out with Mini Gaming Gibbs. Uh, apparently, it's his 21st. Either he just turned 21 or he's turning 21 at midnight. I don't know. But he's playing scary games. I think his big brother's around. Uh, I think it's uh, it's a good time to go yell at him. That's what I think. It's a lot, honestly, a lot of fun, but also a lot, a lot. I don't know. I I don't think it's I don't think it's like a lot uh, in substance. I think it's just a lot. It's it's a it's a giant ocean that's that's only like a foot deep, right? It's got a lot of width, but not a lot of depth. Is what is what the general impression was of like go collect the five bajillion thingies. But uh Yeah. Let's go see what Gibbs is up to. It looks like he's playing Outlast. Let's uh let's go scare him. Go scare him a lot. I do appreciate you guys hanging out tonight, and we'll take you guys on Wednesday, probably for more League of Legends. Most likely, but maybe not. Maybe we'll play Zenith. I don't know. I don't know what we're doing Wednesday. That's that's in the future. That hasn't been decided yet. It could be anything. It could be anything. Enjoy. <laughs>